We know the Great Lakes are home to hundreds of fish species, but a Windsor Ironman triathlete recently learned that the hard way, getting up close and a little too personal with a muskie. As CTV's Rich Garten reports, the athlete still has all his fingers, but the muskie certainly left its mark. Matt Gervais has been open water swimming for decades. Typically, we love it out there. Water's been warm, water's been flat. Um, and clear. Gervais is an Ironman triathlete, traveling the world, competing in the endurance event since 2005. He's done thousands of open water swims without an issue. But a Friday morning training session in Lake St. Clair has left a mark, both in his memory and on his hand. Friday was not a good day. About 350 meters into a three kilometer swim just east of Pesh Island, Gervais suddenly felt a burning sensation on his right hand. Yeah, it was sharp burning. He looked below the water and saw a muskie clamped onto his fingers. Kind of caught it eye to eye underwater with my goggles and uh, and that was it. He reactively pulled the fish off his hand and brought his arm up to survey the damage. Carnage. Yeah, it was uh, right away blood dripping down to my elbow. No. It was a lot of pain. It hurt really bad right away. He called to his swimming partner Terry who helped him swim ashore to a stranger's break wall, where they tended to his wounds and waited for an ambulance. 13 stitches later, Gervais is still haunted by the incident. It's sort of burned into the, into the back of my mind there, yeah? At like, it's, it's gonna be tough to get back in the lake. But aquatic life researchers say it shouldn't be a cause for concern. And what happens, we believe, is muskies mistake uh, that for the appearance of a pre prey fish. And so this is how attacks generally happen. It's not that the muskie are intending to bite people, but they accidentally bite either usually the extremities, a hand or a foot on a swimmer. Trevor Pitcher, who studies and grows fish at the Great Lakes Institute for Environmental Research, says muskie are an apex predator and likely the biggest in the Great Lakes. They have canine teeth and extra teeth on the tongue and roof of its mouth. And Pitcher says the muskie can have a damaging bite, but calls this rare event a mistaken attack. The word mistake is key because we're very confident that they don't intentionally bite people. And in reality, it's not very common. So humans, you know, especially human flesh, is not part of the musky diet. Gervais has a half Ironman coming up in two weeks and hopes to get the doctors all clear to compete. But he admits getting back into Lake St. Clair may take him a while. I will get back in the lake. Um, I would have no problem in other lakes, but I'm sure when I pass that point on, on any swim in the future, it'll still be there in the back of my mind. But there's always that kind of what does lurk beneath, and uh, and now we've got a, a more of an idea of what's out there. Rich Garten, CTV News.